Hey guys, we have the JBL Endurance Peak 3 wireless earbuds and in this video I want to explain to you how to pair these earbuds to a Windows computer, here for example a laptop. So in case you want to pair your earbuds to a Mac computer, then I suggest you check out my other video here in the upper right corner. So okay, but now let's get started. And uh, the first thing we do is we're going to take out both earbuds out of the charging case. And then we also have to uh, turn both of them on by uh, just moving here the uh, twist lock that we have here. So I'm just going to put this here right behind the ear pad, ear cup, uh, because uh, then you can see this better. Normally, if you're using it, you can actually just put them right onto your ear uh, to open up that twist lock. So now we're going to take a look here at the LEDs here. So if these are blinking rapidly right now, so then that means that the Bluetooth pairing mode is already active. So this happens when you're earbuds are still brand new. But in case this does not happen for you, because for example you have previously paired these earbuds to a different uh, smartphone or device, then we have to manually enable the Bluetooth pairing mode. And this is really simple. All we have to do is we're going to take one of the earbuds and then we're going to press two times on that touch panel here on the touch side and we're going to press twice and the second time we're going to press and hold. And you have to do this really rapidly. And uh, so then you're going to see the Bluetooth pairing mode is going to be enabled on both of the earbuds. Okay, and now with our earbuds in the Bluetooth pairing mode, we can now set them aside and we're going to switch over to our Windows computer. And at first we're going to take a look at the lower left corner of the screen where we have the search bar. And here we're going to type in Bluetooth. So if you, when you type that in, you're going to have the very first search result on the top is going to be here Bluetooth and other device settings. So let's click on that. And in this screen, we're going to see here the add Bluetooth and other device button. Uh, but first we have to make sure that right underneath that Bluetooth is actually enabled. So in case this is right now turned off, you want to turn this on. And now we can go up to that plus symbol and we're going to click on this, which brings up a small pop-up. And here we have the very first option. We want to add a Bluetooth device. So we're going to select this. And then it should only take a few seconds until we're going to see here the JBL Endurance Peak 3 show up. So this is an audio device. We're going to select this in order to pair to our earbuds. And then within a second or two, we're going to be already connected. And once we close the pop-up, we can see in detail which features these earbuds provide. So we can have voice calls. So we can these, use these for Zoom, for example. But of course, we can also listen to music. And it's also going to show us here how much battery percentage is left on the earbuds. So right now, the batteries of the earbuds are fully charged with 100%. Now, in case you were not able to pair earbuds with this method, because they just didn't show up, the earbuds just didn't show up in that pop-up, uh, then I suggest you first try to restart your computer and then try uh, this process over and see if the earbuds show up then. Uh, in case this does not work, then I would suggest you go here in the upper left four corner where it says find a setting and you type in update. And this allows us here to check for Windows software updates. So in case there is a new Bluetooth device driver available, then you can see if that will fix the issue after you installed all those updates. And now one more piece of information in case you're trying to connect your earbuds to two devices at the same time. So for example, your computer and your smartphone, then I have to tell you that this is not possible at the same time. So in case you want to switch over from your computer to your smartphone with the earbuds, then you have to first disconnect your computer from the earbuds and then you can connect these earbuds with your smartphone. When we're done using our earbuds, we just turn them off by closing that twist lock. And then we can also put them back into the charging case in order to uh, charge the batteries on them. And if you're, if you're wondering if you have to take them out of the charging case when once the batteries are fully charged, then the answer to that question is no. So as soon as the batteries are full, the charging process is going to be interrupted and it's not going to damage uh, the batteries and we can just safely store them in that case. And the next time you want to use these earbuds, then we're just going to turn them back on and they're going to automatically reconnect to our computer. 
Okay, so that was already it for this video. Hope you have found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below. 